Hanif Echo, The African Perspective. African Geopolitics Unveiling South Africa's struggle, Tabo Mbeki exposes 30 years of hybrid warfare. Part 1, Awakening South Africa. In this pivotal segment, former President Thabo Mbeki delivers a compelling call to action, urging citizens to see through the propaganda and stand united. Let, let me start by saying, I think one of the things that worries me a great deal is that I think as a country, we don't understand South Africa in the same way. I think we carry in our heads different South Africans. Uh, and hence come with different solutions of whatever the challenges are. Okay. <clears throat> Take this notion of 30 years of democracy. What has happened during these 30 years? I think one of the fascinating things about these 30 years is what has happened differences in the different periods within these 30 years. That you can divide this history of 30 years into three ages, because it's ages. It's age one, age two, and age three. And it says age one is from 1994 to 2007. And age two is from 2008 to 2022. And now we are drifting towards the conclusion of age three. So Dr. Andrews says, if you look at age one, the country is going up all the time. He says that even you take the number of people employed. In 1994, you got 8 million people employed. By 2008, it's 14 million. To so contest this assertion that is made, that this was a period of jobless growth. Because in fact, there's enormous job creation during this period. Levels of unemployment drop during this period. Um, the all manner of positive things. It gives all the detailed socioeconomic figures to show this upward process. That's what he calls age number one. Then, as I was saying, he says age number two is from 2008 to 2022. And then the direct opposite happens. So in these 30 years of democracy, we start off going this way, and from 2008, we start going the opposite direction. And during age one, uh, the national government here is the ANC. During age two, national government is the same party. So question arises, what happened that the same party is able to lead the country in this very positive way during age one and lead the country in the opposite direction in terms of age two. As a puzzle, as a conundrum. If there was a change of party, another party took over, then we can explain it. But it's the same party. What happened? Is that it's during this age one that we adopt our current constitution, 1996. And part of what happens during that first period is that we then put in place all the institutions that are required of this constitution. So whether we're talking constitutional court or, or public protector or the commission on gender, gender and so on, gender issues and so on. All of these institutions, including the laws and regulations, come during this period. So this is a period, age number one, according to Dr. Andres, not only of socio-economic progress, but also the very entrenchment, the definition of democracy in this country comes during this period. Challenges, even with regard to that, come during age number two. I think it's a distinction that we need to make. Even in the context of voting on the 29th of May, I think we need to understand that context in order to be able to know who are we voting for. Who are these people? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more echoes of current affairs.